Sorry. It's not? I think All it started right. now. <laughs> Great. Hi, this is Abraham, a.k.a. Ulysses, uh, and I am the teal. Oh, yeah. like, like teal or like yeah. cyan? Yeah. I don't know. Some, some pretty sky blue color. <laughs> uh, I'm Peter. I'm the purple Terran lunatic. We're <clears throat> here today with another 2v2 match from the ladder. Um, so in this match, we are going to do a speedling, speedling uh, marine. Uh, marine, mass marine build. Um, so the build that I do is the Zerg. I, I don't actually know if it's... I don't think it's very common. I think most Zergs go slightly more all-in than me. Most Zergs seem to ten pool. Um, get or more early wings before you. Yeah, yeah. Most, most Zergs seem to ten pool. I prefer to uh, 11 over pool um, and get that... get sort of a slower slower speed but more lings and especially more lings over the course of the game yeah um it it mm, may or may not be better it kind of seems to it seems to flow well with the speed of marine reinforcements yeah um yeah and what do you do um i do the same thing as usual or at least pretty much always versus pz we've been doing this build because we haven't seen many builds that can beat it reliably unless we make a mistake and so I'm, I'm going to do a two racks, marines, and just into more, like four barracks usually, just mass marines. Yeah, basically don't, Terran does not get gas for a while. Uh, for a while. And uh, After four barracks, you can decide, do you want to get barracks for upgrades, more barracks, or like a CC? Yeah. Because even with four barracks, you're still gaining so many minerals if you just keep SCV production on <clears> minerals. <throat> yeah, so uh, as Zerg, I actually take, take all my drones off gas. Uh, in PZ versus uh, past, past, once I've got enough gas for speed, because you don't, you don't really need, um, you don't really need, like banelings at all. Though it can be sort of good. Um, you really only yeah. want, to, you really only make banelings to deal with speedlings. Uh, they're not really reliable versus marines, and they're so useless versus stalkers at this stage yeah. in the game that there's really no point. Um, and you really need just as many Zerglings as possible, both to eat Zealot hits and also to trap Stalkers, which is sort of your primary goal. Stalkers yeah. being very bad against Zergling or yeah, Speedlings. they're terrible. But they want the Stalkers for my Marines, because that's, that's basically the Protoss' only option. Protoss can go Zealots, but Zealots just don't do great when there's Marines and Zerglings on the map. So um, it's our experience that uh, PZ, uh, Double Protoss, and... Um, Zerg, 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 Zerg Terran, I was, I was thinking, yeah. are, are all approximately sort of sort of equal. Zerg, Zerg Terran might have uh, a certain advantage, um, just in terms of like how well they do, like equal skilled players. Um, if the, assuming that the, the Zerg Terran goes Speedling Marine, uh, I don't really know how Speedling Hellion works in, in the PZ matchup. I sort of suspect it's not so great. It's not as good, yeah. Um, because you're gonna have you're gonna have a harder time doing things like breaking down walls, and you're just never gonna be able to deal with like stalkers very well. And yeah, whatever. <clears throat> um, one thing that you don't see too often is uh, roaches, because I mean, obviously, or from 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 me, obviously roaches are good versus zerglings, and roaches are good versus gateway things. They're decent versus marines. The, yeah, but um, you think you'd see them more. But it's kind of like. Roaches are pretty slow. They're and very slow. You and having the mobility of, of the speedlings speed really such lets an you. Yeah. It, it, it's it's such an advantage. It lets you uh, deal with stalkers, which are basically unmanageable with marines. Yeah. I mean, unless just, you control the battle and like yeah. 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 Whereas, if you don't have them, you are not controlling the battle, and you can't you can't deal with stalkers. Stalkers kiting can kite both roaches and marines decently. Yeah. So. Um, at the moment, we're pushing out. We do a very, very specific timing push um, when we do this build. I get 14, I get 14 lings without speed out yeah. at the same time that you have like about six or seven lings usually. Yeah, something like that. Um, so here we're doing some micro. I'm prioritizing the stalker. I'm not sure that's great. The thing about stalkers is that they're so expensive, though. Um, even though marines, you obviously have to keep them alive because yeah. you need to build them up. Stalkers are just so expensive, so every stalker lost really hurts. Um, Probably could have done it slightly better in that battle. Lots of fewer marines, but it, yeah. Even though we get a, sort of we get pushed back here, the spine crawler, it, the momentum is still on our side. I mean. Yeah, mm, basically. One of the things that helps is the uh, if you look at the tab, he's making stalkers because he needs to make stalkers to deal with marines. Zealots just do not do not actually do very well. Um, but 
The stalkers, especially if they're not microed very well, they will lose really hard to speed lights. Really yeah. For, I mean, fairly obvious reasons. Yeah. Stalkers are not the counter. Um, you see he makes roaches and spine crawlers. Uh, one of the issues with spine crawlers... Is you can't defend your ally. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll keep you alive, maybe. Um, although it actually, they don't do super great versus marines, I would say. They'll, they'll, they'll keep you alive, but they won't really um, help you win the game. Now, one of the things that we see is he's like stopped making stalkers. He's made a lot more zealots, and zealots are really good versus dealing with the uh, dealing with the speedlings. But it's 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 hard. There's there's sort of like the there's sort of the the triangle of the zealot, the marine, in, and the uh, and the stalker and the speedling. That's like a square. That's not a triangle. <laughs> it's got four sides. <laughs> the stalker beats the marine. Um, got some good chat going on. Here. Oh yeah, that, that's cool. I don't know what that. I think was I was about. lagging out. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, the uh, the speedling beats the stalker. The zealot beats the speedling. Yeah. Um, right there, we saw why you don't you zealots. don't move out onto the map with a Protoss gateway army without yeah. your Zerg with you. Um, anyway, this is this is not to say that I mean obviously if if, if Zerg Protoss had I would say played better, um, they definitely could have won. Zerg Protoss can definitely win against yeah. against Zerg Terran or against this particular build. Yeah, it's not like build. this build is. It's you know, I, th I feel like the advantage is on our side though. Yeah, the, in terms of just the the advantage is, is sort of on the side of uh, of the Terran Zerg, I would say, because they are the attacker. Even though even though yeah. like a lot of people do that sort of zealot warp in thing, um, the warp in can occur at five fifteen at the earliest, and at that point, the the we Terran Zerg army is is already is already, like is already together and yeah. is already pushing out. So like if you've got pylons near their base, you're just gonna lose them, and you if you warp in not at your own base, you can also just lose your base on top of it. 2v2 just rewards aggression so much. Yeah. So, um, there they left the game. They made roaches, but roaches... The main the main problem yeah. with roaches, I would say, versus Terran Zerg is just that they are not... They're not good enough versus Marines to really justify themselves. Yeah. Um, though they're, they're like, sort of... They're decent versus speedlings, even in... Uh, in small numbers, those speedlings can beat them. I feel like... What do you think the best thing a Protoss Zerg can do against a Terran Zerg doing this build? I would say... I'd say maybe like Banelings with st Stalkers, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I think one of one good thing that um, Protoss Zergs can do is they can just get like blind Banelings. And it's like not very... I mean, it's obviously not very good if you're not attacked, general, yeah. but um, you, it's not sort of crippling and Zerg or Protoss Zerg has this really huge advantage of warp gates. Warp gates just provide Such like good production, much yeah. better production than anybody uh, with, else. With the with the banelings, has. banelings just protect the stalkers from that speeding around, which is what you really want. <clears throat> and then the stalkers can then kite the marines. The marine gets too close, or the speedlings get too close. The yeah. banelings can yeah. detonate. That's one advantage. So it, can, it can work, I think, maybe. One advantage, of, yeah, of banelings is just that you make lings. Yeah. As functionally used. We haven't seen that much from Protoss Zergs, though. So <clears throat> um, we've been just doing this build, and it's been giving us pretty good success. Yeah. Oh, so, so uh, just an overview if you play Protoss Zerg, the Protoss should always foregate. Always, always, always. Yeah. And they should foregate as fast as possible. You may think it's cheesy from your 1v1 mindset, but for 2v2, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like, not all in. It is standard play. Yeah. It's all ins are standard play. <laughs> Because, yeah, in 2v2, the defender's advantage, there's no defender's advantage. There is an attacker's advantage. Yeah. So you always, always want to be on the offense as much as possible. Well, that's about it, I'd say. All right. All right thank you.